from the post-match NCAA volleyball uh, press conference, joined by Milliken Big Blue head coach Debbie Kick, uh, senior Cassidy Kingery, and senior Kelsey Talkington. And quite the five-set match here against Wittenberg. Your team fought off seven match points in set number five. You had won the first two sets of the match and obviously faced some adversity here coach and you guys found a way to fight off that adversity and get the win just your thoughts on uh, this performance and moving on to the regional final we were <clears throat> we were trying hard to live in the moment and to believe that we could come back and just play one point at a time and the um, the grit and determination um, of this team you know like that's tough to serve that many points in a row with a mm -hmm. you know when you're trying to serve tough and you make a mistake and that's match point you know so the poise of Meredith our time serving and you know uh, just the step up from everybody you know did we I think we came back from 14 to 8 to win that that was that was just an unbelievable gutsy gritty performance by a group of girls who's super passionate about the game of volleyball love each other and wanted to keep playing together You've been coaching at Milliken for a number of years. You've been around volleyball a long time. Have you ever had a comeback that matches something like that in a pressure situation like we had today? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, I couldn't be happier. It's awesome. Uh, Wittenberg is such an awesome program and, uh, you know, so many strong hitters and blockers, you know, tough servers, you know, great coach. You know, a tremendous program, and to come back from that kind of deficit in the fifth set is just, it's unbelievable, and I'm so proud of our team. Yeah. Um, just talk a little bit about how you, you mentioned it earlier, but you really served aggressively, and it, it paid big dividends in that first set. They tightened up a little bit in the second set, Wittenberg, as far as what they were trying to do, but you still got that. How did the momentum kind of switch back? toward Wittenberg's side in sets three and four, yeah. and what were you doing right in sets one and two? Well, um, you know, it's funny that you work so hard at different aspects of the game of volleyball, but many times it comes back down to the game of serve and pass, and that certainly happened today. And, um, you know, we wanted to minimize their number of options, you know, with our serve, mm -hmm. and uh, make them be more predictable, and we did a really nice job with that. And um, in the first two sets, our, our passing, we were so in system, you know, but when they got down two sets to zero, you know, the tide kind of turned because they had to pick up their serving and it made it more, you know, us more predictable on offense. And um, so, you know, I think in uh, like the beginning and end of the beginning of the match and the end of the match, you know, our serving was tough and we had a stretch in the middle where I think I counted we served 10 straight balls to the libero mm -hmm. and we were not trying to serve her, you know, and so um, whether we had miles per hour on the serve and float on the serve or not, we weren't serving the people we were intending to and we weren't taking people out of the, out of the scheme and they were getting all of their options and so, um, you know, I think that was the tide turning. And, you know, Wittenberg is a team with such a storied history that they right. knew that they were going to win, you know. And we're, we're getting there, but we're working hard to know that we'll win, too. And, um, you know, we got to that 14-14, to 14, and honestly, I knew we were going to win once we fought back to that point because yeah. we had all the momentum. And I know the heart of these girls and the passion that they have for the game. And, you know, I, once we got to 14, I felt a little bit better. <laughs> but, I mean, it still could go either way. But... Um, yeah, I was, I'm just thrilled. Moving over to your players here, um, off to your left, uh, the seniors. Just talk a little bit about the belief, the mentality. It's your second straight five set win. Um, here, being from Kelvin, I know that your first match of the year was a five setter. You went up against Kelvin. So five set matches are not new to you guys. <laughs> so just talk a little bit about the experience of playing in these five setters and the belief that you guys had at especially when you were down 14 to eight there in set number five and you guys clawed all the way back. Um, why don't we first start with Kelsey here and just uh, your thoughts on that. Um, well, it was definitely a mix of emotions. There was just so much on the bench as well as it was on the court, just like it was one to fight and like people on their toes, like, oh, we got it, oh, we're so close. Mm -hmm. And we kept fighting and fighting and pushing through. And we didn't let like that so close be as close. We kept um, pushing farther and farther away from them. Mm -hmm. I think that was good. Yeah, and just, you know, you confide in your teammates when you're in such a stressful situation. I know Aaron and I were having a conversation because we do this kind of stuff in practice all the time. We have drills specifically designed to help us with this. And, you know, just the, 
the gun ho of Meredith, you know, she's one of my best friends. I, I, I couldn't be over, you know, I'm like so overcome with emotions for her and I'm just so excited and especially being seniors, this just means like that much more to us because mm -hmm. we are thinking that, you know, that's our career on the line. And, uh, and just like the, the gung-ho that my teammates had for us is just incredible to think that they weren't gonna let us go out like that. Um, you know, with a 2-0 lead, it's just, I am so proud of everyone for just going for it and just, it's, it's, it's an unreal experience, it really is. Yeah, it, just sticking with the two seniors here, um, Final question for you too. Just your thoughts on the excitement of playing in a regional final tomorrow night. Maybe it hasn't sunk in yet because you're still digesting this one, but just your thoughts on uh, getting a chance to play for a regional championship tomorrow night. Now, not only is it our uh, regional championship, but it's Milliken's first mm -hmm. in the history of the school. And that's just to think that like we made history here today is just, you know, something that I still can't quite grasp. And, you know, you always talk about it, but sometimes the you know, you still have the back of your mind thought, you know, as hard as you try and extinguish that fire, it's still there. And, uh, you know, just to be able to be a part of that, we have, you know, so many talented girls. It's just the excitement that we, we can't, you know, and we will do it. It's just, you know, everyone kind of looks past us. And it's just so exciting to be like, no, you know, we're still here. Yeah. Uh, well, like she said in the beginning about the pressure, I think, like, we just really need to make, like, we have a lot of pressure on us for being the first ones to, like, win two games of regionals and making it to the third round. And I think we need to take, the positive from that and take it forward to push us through this next game because this next game is definitely gonna be, it's always like hard the more you go on but I think we just need to like start strong we did keep playing mm -hmm. strong and just work as hard as we can give it all. Coach um, you don't know at this point uh, your opponent you'll know it'll be, it'll be either Calvin or DePaul they're playing in the next one just your thoughts on uh, tomorrow's matchup you know whoever that might be playing in a regional final uh, it, it's got to be exciting but it's Got to be something that uh, you probably have to refocus and get your team ready to go again. How do you go about doing that? Well, it's kind of interesting. Um, a few weeks ago, we played in a tournament at DePaul that had DePaul, Hope, and Milliken all facing each other. And um, Hope, like we just crumbled against Hope. And then Hope just crumbled against DePaul. And yeah. then DePaul just crumbled against us. And all three of the matches went three with each of us going one and one in the match, you know. and. Um, Early in the year, we had a five-setter against Calvin, and um, we believe that at that point in time, we should have done it in four. And, you know, they had the mentality of we will win, and we had the mentality that we can win, and, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little difference. And um, so, you know, I think we have to, uh, we have to approach this um, next matchup the same way that we approach this one, that we're playing with everything we have on every single point. And, yeah. Everything's not going to go perfect the whole time, but we cannot let it um, carry over into a point run for the opponent. And um, just you know, keep looking forward and playing the next point hard. And um, you know, we get to watch this match and see how it unfolds mm -hmm. and do our prep. We have a you know evening game tomorrow, so we have time to do our preparation, and um, we're excited for the opportunity. You bet. Final question for you, Coach. Today is November 11, 2016. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be a day that you won't forget because a forget. you had a five set thrilling win in a second round regional NCAA tournament match. It's your birthday, I understand, <laughs> and you became a grandmother today. Your thoughts on that uh, triple play, so to speak? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, uh, family is everything, and the rest of my family is gathered in St. Louis for my uh, where my daughter had her fourth child, her fourth daughter. So we have four granddaughters now, and keep, couldn't be prouder. Shout out to Drew Elaine, the new yeah. the family, and uh, super excited about that. And you know, I'm super excited about the, um, you know, like my team was so excited for that the birth today, yeah. and you know, so happy to win on my birthday, and you know, to make me feel so special today. You know, when it is a big day for all of us, you know, I'm very thankful. Well, it was an exciting match. We'll be talking to you tomorrow night. Congratulations on the win, and. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.